Corey Pelizzari here for Native Instruments and Soundign, and in this video we'll be checking out the UI elements and controls for the Symphony Series Woodwinds Library. Most of the controls are same across each instrument and patch, although some patches vary depending on whether you load the legato patch up or the effects based patch up, but I'll show you through basically all of the primary controls and then we'll get into articulation switching. Now first let's have a look at the mic positions. Now if we look at the mic positions we have a stereo mix, a close mic position, mid and far. Now what I'll do is I'll play a quick line on the flute and just give you a listen as I fade in and out the different mic positions to give you an idea of the tone difference between them. Now if you're after something a bit more spacious, you can always add the reverb, which is available down here. Now let's go back to the performance page. Basically the main controls here are the dynamics knob, which basically controls volume and swell. And we've got the attack and release, and we've got the tightness, which basically cuts off the beginning of the sample if you want to cut further into an effects sustain, or if you want to uh, apply some creative effects to staccatos. And here we've got the vibrato control. You can basically set this to a CC and control the scripted vibrato. And down here we have the legato controls. In the normal main patches, the legato will be scripted, which you can turn on and off and change the response, which basically decides how fast the interval moves. And you can switch between solo and duet, which basically changes monophonic legato or two-note legato. Now, in the actual legato patches for each instrument, this legato will be true legato, and the response will basically dictate how fast the sampled interval will play. Now, for the main articulation patches, you also have an arpeggio simulator on the right here, which you can basically activate, hold down a key, and you can count how many times it arpeggiates between the notes and choose between majors, minors, augments, and the up and down movement and the speed. I'll just give you a quick listen to that. Now we'll move on to the main part of each patch. This is the articulations section. Now this is where the GUI basically adds a lot of flexibility for changing the articulations, stacking articulations, and changing whether or not articulations respond to velocity, MIDI CC, or simple key switching. I'll try to keep it simple and basic so you can understand exactly what's going on here. You're given eight articulation slots where you can place your articulations. So you click on the slot and then click on the desired articulation. The next thing you'd want to do is set where you want the key switches. Down here we've got the key switch control. You can either drag this up or down or click on the little MIDI control here and then press the key that you'd like to assign the key switch to. This basically allows you to control all of the key switches and put them wherever you'd like on the keyboard. What also this allows is stacking of articulations. You can set staccato, for example, to the key C1 and then set sustain to the key C1 as well. So when you press C1, you'll be activating both articulations. So they'll stack, essentially. You can also dictate the velocity range in which this articulation plays by controlling the velocity range here. And if you want to get rid of an articulation or simply clear the slot, just click on clear slot right here. Now, if you'd like to activate articulations using velocity instead, just do this. Put each of the articulations you'd like on one key switch and then change their velocity range. 
So that way you can have a variety of different velocities that activate different articulations. You can also use MIDI CC to dictate the articulations. If you click here on MIDI CC, then click on an articulation and set it to a certain value, then that value on your chosen CC controller will basically activate the articulation. All of this basically allows a very, very flexible way of activating all of your different articulations and getting the play and the feel that you like from the library. So let's just do a quick example of velocity style switching. I'm going to put the staccatos on the same key switch as the overtone staccatos and I'm going to set the staccatos to a lower velocity range and the overtones to a higher velocity range. Now when I play I can activate the overtone staccatos on higher velocities. So as you can see it's very customizable. Now, also provided are these volume controls here. In the slot selections where your articulations lie, you can change the volume of each articulation. So, if you feel that your staccatos are maybe popping out a bit too much next to the sustains, you can basically pull down the volume of the staccatos to match the sustains. And you can do this with all of the articulation slots available so that you can get a nice balanced sound depending on your play style and your choice of articulations. So, that's basically it for the articulations and the UI walkthrough. I hope you found this interesting and informative in regards to the sometimes complex UI of this instrument, but it's also very flexible and allows you to be very creative in the way that you set up your articulations and your instruments and positions. So, with that, you might want to check out the other two videos I've made covering the sounds of the Woodwind Solo and the Woodwinds Ensemble libraries.